So here's the scenario. You're thinking about buying an RX-8, and you've done all your research, and you know all about these engines and what to look for when buying, but still end up making an embarrassing mistake. Well, here's how to not make these mistakes. Today, I'm going to go over everything else and get you comfortable with this Mazda RX-8. So if you go to see it, you won't embarrass yourself. So let's get started. Number one, suicide doors. You'll be amazed how many people mess this up. So I will teach you how to use them because they are easy. First, open the front door by pulling the handle out like a normal car. Then reach back halfway up the back door and feel for the end of that rough hard plastic. Then pull back on the latch to open it. Now when closing the doors, close the back door first. First of all, closing the front door won't actually latch, and then if you close the back door on top of the front door, it will dent the door. So please, please shut the back door first. Number two, center console. No, not the boat, but the unique center console that extends the entire length of the interior of this car. This can seem like a maze at first glance, but it's easy. Here are all the compartments and how to check them out. Starting up front is this latch. Push in the button and slide it to the rear to reveal the cup holders. Now in the back position only, you can lift up this latch towards the passenger side to reveal another compartment with a lighter power source. Pretty simple. Behind this is a second cup holder. Push on the front side to open and the back side to close. Easy! Behind this is yet another latch. Pull it up and it opens. Big easy! Continuing to the back is the door to the trunk. Just a latch on top. Pull it towards the front of the car, then lift it up. It comes out for trunk access. It's easy! Number three, back windows. On the black plastic clip side closest to you, pull up on it, then shift the force away from you until it clicks in the open position. To close, lift the side closest to you and pull towards you and push down to the back to lock them. Easy! Number four, reverse gear. Trust me, I know it's hard sometimes to figure out how to get a car into reverse. But in the RX-8, it's easy. With the clutch down, meaning put your foot on the clutch pedal and press it until it hits the floor, push down on the gear stick towards the floor. That is pushing down towards the floor. Then move the gear stick to the far right and towards the back of the car, or towards you when you're sitting in the seat. This reverse gear ratio is kind of whack, so it's easier to stall in reverse than first gear. So just be careful. I still find myself stalling in reverse every now and then. Number five, red line. See that little striped red section starting at 8,500 RPM? That is not the red line. See that red bar starting at 9,000 RPM? That is not the red line. There is no red line. <laughs> Just kidding. The red line's 9,000 RPM, obviously. If I missed anything, feel free to leave a comment and let's try to get all of the quirky information about this car out there so people can learn about it. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and got more comfortable with the unique aspects of this Mazda RX-8. I'll see you in the next one.